For those who may have questions about the HipCast audio and video podcasting service, here's just a very brief overview of the service and just a quick uh, kind of a walkthrough of the different areas within the service. Once you sign up for an account, you'll want to go ahead and log in with your username and password at hipcast.com. Once you log in, the default um, area that you'll come to is a list of your My Audios, and that's indicated by the Audio tab, and you'll see a listing of all of the audio files that you may have already uploaded into HipCast. And here you see just a list of, of different audio files that I have I've, uh, uploaded. And next to each one, you'll see a, um, a little play button that allows you to preview the audio that you have uploaded. Uh, here's an example. Try another one. Here. Welcome to this episode of. So you see, we've got. You can preview, and it gives you some information. Hipcast tells you the length of that audio recording and actually the file size as well. So to get started with a podcasting with Hipcast, the first thing you need to do is record an audio file and then upload it to Hipcast. And on this audio tab, you see a link to upload audio. So once you have your file recorded, your MP3 file. Um, go ahead and click Upload Audio, and you'll hit Browse. Uh, right here, you'll choose your file, and you give it a title. Um, you can put your an author, put your name in if you'd like, and a description. And then down here, you can select the streaming speed. This has to do with the way in which the file is encoded, so that um, if someone is actually going to uh, stream it, meaning if you were going to take this audio and embed it in a video, or not a video, but in your um, in a blog posting or on the web, um, the streaming speed has to do with the way in which it's encoded, so they can they can view it. Um, I just always pick the default. I encode it for fast broadband users, and um, down here is actually where you can publish this immediately after you post upload it, either to a blog or to a feed, which. Um, actually refers to a podcast that we'll get to in just a little bit. But then you click Upload File, and you your file will then upload to the HipCast service. And since I already have some audio files, I'm going to wait. I'm not going to do that at this point. Uh, the next thing that you'll want to do now, once you have your file uploaded is to create your podcast. So by clicking on the Podcast tab, you'll see a, a listing of all the podcasts that you have set up. Now keep in mind that a podcast is like a show or a series. So it's kind of a, a general um, collection. And then within it, you will have different episodes. Um, so for example, uh, my wife and I, we have a simple podcast uh, for our family of kind of the things that we've done. So when you click on that podcast, this is a pre-existing one, you'll see that it has an, a title, um, a genre. And then what's really important is the URL, the RSS feed. And um, this address here, and by right clicking or command clicking you can copy this link or by clicking on the XML button um, that link the actual URL for your podcast feed will open up in the browser and that's what um, users will need in order to subscribe to your podcast so that's really important um, then you'll see a uh, various um, episodes of the podcast and so keep in mind every um, every episode will show up here so you can kind of see the different content items that have been added to your your podcast. So the podcast is the general uh, show, and each episode then will be listed within it. There are some other settings here that I won't take the time to get into, but you can they're pretty self-explanatory. Um, what you're going to want to do, though, is add a new podcast. Um, so if this is the first time you're doing it. You'll click New Podcast. You'll give your podcast a name, a title, and a description, um, and also you can pick a genre. Um, you can add some album art. Here's previous artwork I've used. And then there's some other places down here that you can put in some optional information. Everything that has an asterisk next to it is a required field. So you'll fill those in. You'll hit Submit. And then on your Podcast tab, you'll see your podcast. And then you'll be ready to actually add the content to your podcast. Now I have one down here that I just called 
have called audio publish. It's just a kind of a sample um, podcast to get started. So if I go down here, um, there's an option to click on new post. And what you're doing then at this point is adding the audio file from your um, podcast, from your um, audio selection of audios into this listing. So here's where you can make a new post. If you happen to have, um, by clicking on this audio, it'll bring up a listing of all the audio files that you currently have uploaded to HipCast. So you can, you can pick the audio that you file that you want to use and then you just scroll down give it a title and a description so I'll just do that sample audio description goes here and we'll save the changes okay so now if you scroll down notice that sample audio this episode has now been added to my podcast and it'll appear uh, above is the most it's the most recent one so it appears at the top and there's the creation date and as long as I have my URL the XML link for my a podcast that's what my users need in order to subscribe and then to receive the new uh, content so that's an overview of hipcast um, if you have questions um, Feel free to log into the course discussion or the course blog and post those questions. And I uh, look forward to answering them. Have fun, and I hope you really enjoy the process of podcasting. The HipCast service really does a uh, is very easy to use once you just get the the steps down. That that basically you upload the audio, then you add it to your podcast, and um, then your users will. Uh, be getting your message.